Secretary Blinken said today that the U.S. and its allies are working to build up Ukraine's military to NATO standards and NATO increase NATO interoperability. Sure. What specific steps is the DOD taking to increase interoperability between the two countries? With, uh, with, with Ukraine and NATO and Ukraine. Well, some of the equipment, the capabilities, the systems that we're giving are um, NATO, NATO equipment and um, uh, NATO com the compatibility is the same. So it is about um, transitioning over from old Soviet equipment into NATO standard equipment and, um, and systems. And so that's one way to do it. I mean, also, you, you're seeing the world rally around Ukraine um, in this... Uh, in the war that was launched a year ago, I think that certainly shows um, allies and partners are standing with Ukraine, and that certainly uh, increases interoperability uh, with Ukraine and between NATO and the United States. And just a quick follow-up. Uh, is the Pentagon concerned that there are escalatory risks with this, you know, the U.S. Secretary of State kind of implying, at least from, you know, the Russian standpoint, it might seem like we're, we're working towards Ukraine becoming a de facto member of NATO. So is there a concern about how Putin might view this? Well, we have an open door policy when it comes to NATO. Uh, should a country decide and want to pursue a membership with NATO, that is between the NATO allies and the country that wants to apply. So uh, we certainly have that um, open door policy. But right now, what we're focused on and what Ukraine is focused on is defending its sovereign territory. And so I don't see us um, in terms of supplying, working with, partnering, um, supporting Ukraine as escalatory. Uh, what was certainly escalatory was the invasion of Ukraine that um, was launched a year ago. So I think I'll just go ahead and leave it at that. I'm gonna One quick question okay. um, on China. Uh, there's a report out of Nikkei, Nikkei Asia mm -hmm. that China might be considering a ban on rare earth materials to the U.S. Do you have any information? Can you confirm that? You know, I am sorry. I haven't seen the report, so I just wouldn't be able to speak to that. Okay. Yeah, great. Chris, right here in the front. Yeah. And then I'll go behind you. Uh, if I could follow up on sure. the uh, Ukraine aid, um, the yeah. senior defense official uh, noted uh, yesterday um, there's some uh, drawdown assistance and there's some uh, USAI assistance, um, which is focused more on medium and long term needs. Right. And in that USAI assistance um, are these uh, counter drone systems, um, right. which the defense official noted. Uh, would be for the Iranian drones. So does the Pentagon believe that Russia is going to continue to have a uh, strong supply of these Iranian drones or perhaps even produce them themselves that Ukraine is going to have to deal with this problem long term? I don't, we certainly don't see it going away, this problem. Um, we are seeing the increase in use of, of Iranian-made drones and, and the shipment of those drones to Russia. We're seeing Russia employing them on the battlefield. So in terms of, um, you know, that would be a more of a supply question of, of to between Russia and Iran. But in the long term, we can I think we can anticipate that Russia is going to continue to use these drones, which is why we're giving them um, the counter UAS equipment that we did. And I think, and I'm just looking at, I know you, you mentioned um, the, the senior defense official that spoke to some of this, but one of the things that we announced in the package yesterday was counter UAS laser guided rocket systems. These are just one of the systems along with the vampires that we are, that we have um, uh, promised to the Ukrainians. These are all going to help with uh, counter UAS capabilities. And these capabilities, um, are they particularly uh, expensive to use? Is, is, is that a concern going into the, the Pentagon's thinking? For example, a, a counter UAS gun mm -hmm. is a little cheaper than, than firing some exquisite missiles. So are you looking to, to help the Ukrainians defeat these drones for cheaper than having to use advanced air defense systems. We're giving the Ukrainians what they need right now on the battlefield, whether no matter the expense, as you can see from our uh, commitment. Um, and we're going to continue to do that. We, um, the president, the secretary have said we're with Ukraine for as long as it takes. Um, and so we're going to keep providing them uh, the capabilities that they need.